What's up, YouTube? How are you doing today? Chana D, your techno dad, back with more CES 2019. I'm standing here with Dan from Emotiva. Or as we call myself, Big Daddy D. <laughs> Big Daddy Big D. D. Big Daddy D. <laughs> <laughs> Emotiva time with Chana D and Big Daddy yeah. D. Awesome, awesome. All right, so uh, we're here at the Emotiva booth, and Dan, uh, please uh, run us through some of your newest products. Well, we like to come to CES. I, I can't believe I've been coming here almost 40 years now, 39 years coming wow. to CES. That's how old I am. Uh, we're here today at the show. We're showing our new RMC1 processor, which you guys will catch in a minute. The uh, a fantastic box. We just released it. It's doing extremely well. 16 channel, channels, expandable to 28. We're showing our new four-channel DSP expansion module okay. that gives you four additional channels of discrete Dolby Atmos. So you can go up to uh, 30, uh, excuse me, 28 channels in the box. The new 11.x.8 standard will be out soon from Dolby. Okay. We'll be able to support that discreetly or natively, I should say. And so it's a very flexible, powerful processor. We've also got the new RMC2 out, which is a 9.1.6 channel processor oh. that will retail for $4,000, just under $4,000 in the US. So the RMC1 is shipping now. The RMC2 will be shipping in March or April, I believe. And then uh, we have two or three more processor products that we're not talking about at the show today that will be out throughout the year. So we'll have processors by the end of the year that go from 4K, excuse me, 5K down to less than $1,000, all based on our new uh, Atmos processing engine. Very cool. Yeah. So Very it's an exciting cool. year for us. Yeah. yeah. And we have an AVR coming out too. We'll have one of the first made in USA AVRs in a long, long time oh, that we'll be previewing in the that's summer. That's exciting. And it's all based on this, uh, this engine that we've developed uh, over the last two years internally. So we're pretty excited about things. Very cool. So what's the difference between the RCM1 uh, and 2? The RMC1 and RMC2 are the same exact processor. They share the same decoding engine, same HDMI management. The difference is in the analog board or the converter board. So it's fixed at 16 channels. You can't expand beyond that on the RMC2. And the left, center, right, and subwoofer, main subwoofer channels are fully differentially referenced they're balanced, we call differential reference. They're truly differentially balanced. And the other channels, although they have balanced connections, are single-ended with phase uh, splitters at the output, but to be oh, a little okay. bit technical, sorry. <laughs> but so the, yeah, the, the, so the holy grail is differential right. reference fully balanced. So you know, we make differential reference power amplifiers that are fully balanced. That's kind of our thing we love, fully balanced signal paths. So the RMC1 is all 16 channels, including the expansion base are fully differential, referent, differentially referenced balanced. That is, there's a positive signal path and a negative signal path in opposite phase of each other. And what that does is gives you more headroom, lower noise, higher slew rate, and extremely good common mode rejection. So it's the holy grail of audio. Right. Okay. And so the RMC1 is all 16 channels. The RMC2 is the four main channels. And then the following processors will be two channels, will be fully differentially referenced design. And then we go down the, the product path. So okay. that's kind of our claim to fame as a brand, is we're all about balanced audio. And uh, our processors uh, take that design philosophy at varying levels of uh, sophistication throughout the product line. Very cool, very cool. So um, as far as HDMI is concerned, do you guys have like an upgrade program to get yeah. you know, whenever? Well, on our current platform, we're on our third generation HDMI board. So we're using Panasonic for our, our silicon partner for HDMI. So full 18 gig bandwidth, HDR, HDR, dynamic HDR, Dolby Vision, all the latest stuff. We, we're completely compatible with all that. And we're already working on the next generation 8K board. The new silicon will be coming out this year. So yeah. one of the big things that's a that obsoletes these processor products is HDMI. Sure. So everything we do is modular, from the decoder, the audio board, the HDMI, the strong arm, everything is modular and designed to be upgraded as technology evolves without throwing away the whole product. Uh, and do you have like a, a ballpark figure on a price for the upgrade? Well, the current upgrade from the old uh, uh, 1.4 board or 2.0 board to the new 2.0 2.0B, the 18 gig part, is uh, 399 I believe, is the upgrade price. So it's very affordable. When the 8K board comes out, I don't know what the silicon's going to cost yet, but it'll be between three and Somewhere around that, that kind of like. We don't know exactly. We try to keep it really affordable. The idea is that you make an investment. When you buy an amplifier, you keep it for 20 years. You buy a processor, you know, the old, the philosophy has been, we'll buy a new $5,000 processor every 
every two years, right? Just because something right. small changed right. in the thing. And we don't believe in that. You know, right. that's, that burns people out really quickly. For sure. So by making everything modular and controlling the, the platform ourselves, we can evolve the platform. Like I said, we're on our third generation HDMI board on our existing XMC platform, going to our fourth generation board. And so all the guys that have had that box in the beginning have just stepped up and a few hundred bucks to get a new board and they keep it current. Right. No, that's actually very good that it's that it's modular like yeah. that because I don't want to spend $5,000 yeah, every two months. That, do you? Yeah. Do you? No. I, it, you know. it, it's, it's kind of insulting to your customers to ask them to make the most expensive part of their system, one of the most expensive parts of their system, to tell them it's basically Kleenex, it's disposable in two right. years. Right. We don't believe in that. So everything, we've, we've got a completely modular philosophy. You're going off there, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> apparently there's some emergency. You're, you're at my, hey, you know? Yeah. You know? But we like we, everything we build from our entry level products to our amplifiers to our processors, our preamps. Everything is fully modular now, so it makes servicing, support, and upgrading super easy and affordable for our customers. Right. I mean, I've called your guys' uh, customer service line just to ask questions. Did they answer the phone? Uh, they, awesome. there you go. they, they did, you go. and they they were very very polite. Yeah. So um, thank you so much uh, for your pleasure, time, man. Dan. Uh, thank you. And uh, again, guys, I got more CES 2019 coverage. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the video if you're new here. All right, Chana D, and for Big Daddy, Big Daddy D, D, keeping it real. Have a good one. We'll see Peace you next time. Love. Peace.